let us begin. Okay. Hello, I thought I'd do a favourite video because I'm a human who enjoys things sometimes. So here we here we are. Let's just jump right in because there needs to be no introduction to this. I got everything written down in my journal. And why don't we start with clothes? The first thing is actually this t-shirt right here. Um, and it is from Uniqlo. It is very big even though it's only a size medium I think. No, it's a size small. Um, and I just love the colours. The colours go so well together. Like this pink with this, this lovely blue minty teal with a darker pink. I just love it. Oh, by the way, it's um, Oh, I don't think it says, but the design is by Keith Haring, and Uniqlo has a whole line of Keith Haring t-shirts. And I actually have um, two other ones that I got, naughty naughty, um, and I will, I will show them right now. Okay. Um, yes. Yeah, so I love this pink one. And there's also um, this black one with a lovely heart in the middle, a red heart with, um, I think, an outline in white of people carrying the heart and like little lines coming off it so it just looks exciting and I just love these t-shirts because the design is just so simple yet so interesting at the same time. And they're also really comfortable and you can just throw them on with a pair of shorts like like I'm wearing. Like shorts like these. Yeah. And that they're, they're super comfy. Yeah, those two t-shirts. Love them. Love them so much. Ooh, the next thing is, let me just go grab it. Is this? It is a lovely red oh Look at the light through that, that's so pretty. Oh, just look, just look at, just. Can we appreciate the colors, please? Just look at how beautiful the colors are. Um, this lovely dark navy blue with um, this bright red. And another thing I love about it is the zipper is also red. So the red also runs all the way down. Um, this jacket, interesting story, not that interesting, but okay, I will tell you anyway. This jacket um, is actually the first thrifted item that I have ever bought in my entire life. Yeah, I told you, it wasn't that interesting. I bought it like three months ago, so <laughs> gotta, gotta get back into thrifting because I really like it, but I just haven't got round to it and exams all that. I don't even know why I'm filming this right now. <laughs> being a little naughty, not, not revising, but you know, it's, it's a good thing to take a break. If you're feeling stressed, if you have a lot of, on your mind right now, just um, take a little break, do something you enjoy. And right now, Lev is filming this, so I realize you can just see my hedgehog back there. His name's Spike, by the way. He's always my favorite. Always. Okay, let, let, let me continue with them. this this beautiful red and blue jacket. It has a few stains on it, but like, what do you expect? It's thrifted. And, um, it was only $40, which is, let me just find out how much that is in American, in American dollars. $40 is five US dollars, which I'm very happy with. Um, as you can probably see, when I shone the light through at the beginning, like that, um, it is quite a thin jacket, so it's more of a windbreaker slash raincoat, but it doesn't really block the wind or the rain. <laughs> like, it blocks a little bit of the rain, so the light rain, but then after a while it starts to sink through a bit. I'm not really sure if this is meant to be, um, a rain jacket or a windbreaker or whatever, but it's just perfect for those days when it's a little bit chilly, like, just a little, and you just want something to throw on in case you get a little bit cold. Um, it, it definitely won't keep you warm in winter. But um, yeah, I just I just love the the shape of the sleeves. They're so they're so big. You can actually button this one, but the other side the button came off, so you can't you can't button it. So you can have two different size sleeves 
if you if you're into that kind of thing. But yeah, I just I just absolutely love the colours of this. Also, um, it's a size large from Field Ace. The brand is Field Ace. If you're wondering, though, I don't think you'll be able to find this. Um, yeah, just thought I'd tell you anyway. I've rambled on about this for ages, but I just love I just love it so much. And just I just I just love it. That windbreaker, you can see how much I love it because it's all over my Instagram, which you can follow right here. Um, I actually have deleted it off my phone because um, I want to focus more on revision. So I won't be posting there for a while, but I'll be back in June, like I said in my last video. Um, but yeah, so many photos of this red jacket. It's uh, a bit too many. No, no, can't be too many. Such a nice jacket, it can't be too many. On to the next category, creators. First person is Lena Norms, otherwise known as Just Kiss My Frog on YouTube. She um, recently did a 40 videos every day for Lent, um, where she answered a question every day, and it was just so, so interesting to watch. Um, she puts her thoughts across very intellectually and very concisely and very eloquently um, and I just I just admire that so much because I find it hard to express what I want to say exactly in the moment very very well as you can see I'm stumbling again um, but yeah she talks about a range of different topics sometimes they're serious sometimes they're funny she recommends books or 40 days of questions yeah the the official hashtag is hashtag 40 days of questions and then with Lena Norm. She made a whole playlist for it. So there's things about feminism, careers, how to say no, um, living in London. There's one where she <laughs> where she wore hipster glasses and talked about them. See a wide variety of things. Um, finding inspiration, being a mess in life, being confident, etc. There's there's loads. There's loads of things there. That's that's about it. Okay, on to the on to the next person. This person is Conan Gray. Conan Gray. If you have not heard of him, please change that as quickly as possible, because he just. Oh, okay. I found out about him maybe last year during summer, a bit before that. Not sure, but um, he makes the most beautiful videos. His main videos he makes are um, vlogs, he makes original songs which are all fantastic um, and he does, what else does he do? He does favourites videos and a lot of his things, a lot of the favourites that he has um, I have tried out, so the songs for example, I have enjoyed listening to those songs. So. Oh, he also does this series called called RT, um, RT, like you know, RT, <laughs> where he um, talks about a topic that he chose while drinking tea and doing some art in his sketchbook, and it's just interesting. It's like it's like you're sitting down and having a cup of tea with him. The next category is music. Okay. Um, I have quite a lot for this. This is actually the biggest category here, and the first thing I want to introduce to you is so good. It is the album called How to Be a Human Being by Glass Animals. Oh my god, I've been listening to it for... I've been listening to it since last year, like the end of last year. So at least, f at least four months. It's just so good. All of the songs have such interesting, um instrumentals so even without the amazing lyrics and melodies they're already like they're already so pleasing to listen to it's the kind of music that makes you want to get up and dance which is actually what i do sometimes when i just take a break from a vision i get up have a little dance be all happy sing sing along to the song and um it's just it's just so oh, all of them they're oh, all of their lyrics they're all so good they're just please, please go listen to it. And if you don't have time to listen to the album, the whole album, I mean, it's not that long. It's like 30 minutes. If you don't have time for that, at least listen to season two of episode three.
Okay, that's enough. I'm pretty sure I'll get copyright for that. Um, so that is the song, Season 2, Episode 3, on the album How to Be a Human Being by Glass Animals. Go listen to it. It is so good. It is so good. Um, my friend Alia and I often listen to it together in art class, and it's just... It's just so good. Actually, we were playing we were playing this album one time in the school fair in the store where we were selling cards. Um, and the people in the store next to us, they were like, We like your music taste, or you have such good music, something along those lines. And it was just like, Oh, thank you so much. The next thing is a band called Two Door Cinema Club. I haven't listened to um, many of their songs, but the few songs I have listened to, I thoroughly enjoy. Um, they were actually recommended to me by Alia as well, my friend Alia. And these songs are Something Good Can Work, Undercover Martin, and What You Know. All very good. They're just so catchy. And <laughs> one of them, Something Good Can Work, is like the chorus. I cannot sing the chorus. It's so insanely fast. It is so fast. It's impossible to sing along to, but it's really, really fun to just listen to and just... It's one of those happy, like, the lyrics may not necessarily be happy, but the the whole feel of the music, it, it just, you know, it's like this. I don't know if you get what I mean, but yeah. Ooh! Maggie Rogers, Alaska. So good! The first time I heard the song, um, as soon as the backing track started playing, I was just so intrigued because it's such a different sound. The way the instruments, like, bopped up and down from place to place, it was just very interesting to listen to and, oh, she has such a unique sound. That's what it is and unique in such a good way. I don't know how to describe it, I'm not very good at describing music. The next song is Bored by Billie Eilish Eilash. Elish, Elish, I have no idea to pronounce it. She is a young singer songwriter um, who makes kind of dancey style music, but it's not like super dancey. It's like a mix between soft and gentle and dancey, especially this song. The piano in it is just so beautiful, and then it changes into this full of beat and upbeat while the lyrics still have that kind of melancholy feel throughout the whole thing. It's it's very, very beautiful. So you should go listen to it. The last artist is a creator on YouTube called Melanie Baker. And my two favourite songs by her are 365 Days, which is this lovely... It just has such lovely imagery in it. And it's such a sweet song. And it's just her playing guitar next to the window and it's just so pretty and whenever you listen to it you feel like going outside, lying in nature or listening to the rain or just doing something happy with friends, you know? It's one of those songs. The other one that I enjoy by her is I Can't Breathe. This one's a very sad one, um, which also uses a lot of imagery. I think this is kind of a running theme in her lyrics um, and I really like that, how she kind of conveys this story through visuals like she kind of shows you what's happening without directly telling you what's happening it's a very sad song and i love i absolutely love the way she uses backwards kind of videos to make it really interesting i sincerely apologize for the constant lighting changes in this video um the sun is setting well it will be setting soon so that's the reason mozzy Go away, I don't want you biting me tonight, please. Please leave. Oh, I bet it's gonna hide now and just come and attack me. Oh, missed. That's so fast. Okay, let's let's just let's just ignore the mosquito and and continue. Oh my gosh, how could I forget? I forgot the song. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, it's a song called Imposture by Orla Gartland. She also makes videos on YouTube. It's very, very good. It's so catchy. The chorus goes like, I'm an imposter. I know. Oh, oh, I'm an imposter. I know. Oh, oh, I'm an imposter. I know. Oh, oh, and I'm laughing, so bluffing, and I really know nothing. No. Yeah, it's just, it's just it's very good. It's about having um, an identity crisis. The lyrics are. 
very phenomenal and it's just very catchy and she oh the, the thing I love about her the thing I love about her most is how passionate she is when she plays it's just oh, so good and that's about it that is everything I have been loving I have titled this April favorites but it's not exactly April favorites because I have loved these things for more than April, like before April. Um, but let me know if you've enjoyed this video, although it was very, very long. Um, let me know if you've enjoyed it. Let me know by commenting below, um, liking, subscribing, telling me if you want to see more like this in the future, and tell me some of your favourites because I just love hearing what people love because I might love it too. And it's just more things to love, so much love. Hope you enjoy this. If you do, give it a subscribe, give it a, a little bell so you can know exactly when I upload. This outro thing is um it's just it's just weird. It's just uh, oh whatever. So yeah. Just if you if you wanna see more of my face, you can subscribe. Yay. As I said last time, probably won't be making videos for a while, but here I am. So, yeah, guess I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.